Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I have a Sunday reset. If you're new to my channel, I try to post these every Sunday and basically I do a lot of cleaning in these videos as well as getting my groceries for the week. Just anything that I can do to kind of prep myself for the week ahead. So today I needed to catch up on my bedroom cleaning. It was a disaster with laundry, so I needed to get that done. And this kind of turned into a two day cleaning thing because we have been so crazy busy lately. The kids have been in swim and we've had appointments and so we've been running here and there. My bedroom is neglected, but I also wanted to clean my car. You guys will see all that later. Um, towards the end of the video, I'm going to have a grocery haul to share with you. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But we are getting started here in the crock pot. I am going to get some dinner on to go in. Tonight I'm doing some bacon wrapped chicken thighs. It's really easy. You just get some boneless, skinless chicken thighs and wrap it in bacon. Put those down into your crock pot and sprinkle on some brown sugar and I think they cooked on high for five hours. I said it for six, but they were done after five hours. So um, later on, we will make the sides to go with that, but it's a really easy dinner and so good. And I do have some, you know, everyday cleaning that needs to be done as well. I need to wash a load of laundry. We try to do at least one load per day to stay caught up. So I'm going to get that on to go in and then we will head into my bedroom. Lately, like I said, we have been so busy. I've just been taking the clean clothes and setting them in my room and not really putting them away. And we've been pulling clean clothes from the stack as we need them. So I really needed to get all of this put away. When my room is messy like this, it adds to my stress level. And so I really like to have my room clean. But as you guys know, I do have to share a room with my kids and sometimes it's not always easy to do, um, but we are doing it. By the way, I wanted to take this time to kind of tell you about some DIY projects I have coming up here on my channel. I've got lots of good stuff planned. We are going to be working on 
a DIY patio coming up. I think that's probably going to be the next DIY coming up. I'm probably going to be working on that next week and getting that posted ASAP. I am so excited for the plans I have for that. So um, you guys will have to make sure you come back. And then I have a plan for the hallway as well. I think that's going to be a really good one. And then I still need to do the master bedroom. So yeah, we've got lots of good home DIY projects coming up. I think those are probably my favorite videos to make. I just love doing home updates on a budget that anyone can do. That's one reason I don't mind having a used mobile home when I do get my own place. I don't mind it being something that needs a little TLC because I actually enjoy doing that and it's a creative outlet for me. Over here in my diffuser, I'm going to put just a few drops of this Sweet Dreams blend by Simply Earth and get the room smelling all nice and relaxing.
So leave a comment down below and let me know if your living room looks like this on a daily basis. This is pretty much how our living room looks the majority of the time. Trying to clean with a toddler in the house is like brushing your teeth and eating Oreos. It is seriously never ending. Got so much to say, never thought it would end this way. I've had so many thoughts spinning in my head. I wanna right my wrongs, never thought they would do such harm. You got so many reasons spinning in your head, that's why you left. Mm, indispensable pain in your chest. Was for the best or you would break That is why you left without a test So like I said earlier, the kids have been going to swim lessons and so what I've been doing is packing their dry clothes the day before, like the clothes that they're going to put on after their lessons. 
I have been putting them into Ziploc bags and labeling it with their names and that has made my life so much easier when they are done with their lessons and they need to change I can just hand them their clothes and we don't have to dig in the bag trying to figure out what's what and for who it's all in the bag and labeled with their name so that's what I'm doing right now just getting that all bagged up into our swim bag and ready for the next day All right, moving outside, I'm gonna get my plants watered real quick. They were looking kind of sad. We have had some really hot weather lately and it's not even summertime yet. It is already so crazy hot here in Georgia. So um, they were kind of dry and desperately needing some water. So I'm gonna get those watered. As for my ferns, they have been doing pretty well, I think. Um, I've been keeping those watered about every three days or so. I'll give them each one gallon of water and that seems to keep them pretty happy. But yeah, I was kind of concerned that I might need to repot these into some bigger pots, but so far they look okay. So I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens and if they still continue to thrive. If they don't, then of course I will have to transfer them into something bigger. But as of right now, this is working. Before we start on my car, I was gonna show you our dinner. So this was the chicken thighs that we wrapped in bacon earlier with the brown sugar. You can see how tender that is. They are seriously delicious. You have to try it if you haven't. And we just heated up some green beans and made some yellow rice on the side. It was a really, really easy dinner. So moving on to my car, um, it's not as bad as it usually is, but the main reason I wanted to clean it is because it's the season for ants. And if I don't stay on top of it, especially with kids in the car, and their snacks they like to have. If I don't stay on top of vacuuming, we get a serious ant problem. I only had one hour to get this done. We had an appointment we needed to get to. So I'm just gonna do as much as I possibly can in the one hour. I am gonna go ahead and take the car seats out and remove everything that no longer belongs in the car. We've got blankets back here. They really don't need those anymore. It's summertime. Um, some toys and other odd stuff I'm gonna go ahead and take out of the car.
up You and I, we lost our way mm-hmm. You cheated, lied, and ran away And I got stuck with a knife in me And this pain won't go away, go away But still When everything comes crashing Really quick, I'm gonna change out my car freshie. I've had this Christmas tree hanging up well since Christmas. <laughs> and here we are in June, so it needs to come down and I've got a new one I'm gonna hang up. I get these from a girl in my area. She makes these and she also ships them. So I'll put her Facebook page down below, but it's called South Georgia Scents. Um, and she's got some really cute ones. So I will put her stuff down below for you guys.
best you've ever had. So real quick, I'm gonna show you guys a before and after. And then, like I said, we had somewhere to be this day, so I decided to go ahead and run the car through the car wash. Also had a grocery pickup I needed to get, so when we get back home, I will show you guys at that haul. So real quick, I'm going to show you the grocery haul before I end this video. I went ahead and got the kids some more of their popsicles they like. And we, as in me and my mom, we've been loving these cookie dipped cones. So good. I think this is our third box within the last two weeks. Super dangerous, but I'm going to go ahead and get those put back in the freezer. I got some tea and also milk. Um, some more of my diet crayon pineapple juice as well as my coffee and my creamer i was getting bored with the other creamer so i switched it up this week i got some greek vanilla yogurt i love the texture of greek yogurt and i always forget about getting it so i grabbed some um, i got some smoky sausages some more um, sliced cheese also grabbed some eggs i don't know why they came in a bag this time but they did some chocolate and strawberries i'm sure you guys know what's going down with this i got some more juice boxes for the kids some chips because um like i said we're doing swim right now and they are quite snacky when we are done with their lessons and then over here i've just got some non-food items i got myself tanner some toothpaste for the kids as well as some more allergy medicine because it is full allergy season over here and just some nighttime baby bath but that is going to do it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a butterfly in the comments down below and also there is a giveaway link in my description box so make sure you enter that before you go every month i give away a 25 dollar e-gift card for amazon so if you don't win this month come back next month i just randomly pop a giveaway into a video. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.